for the left. Kopsik. Up to second, Matt. What's a the scramble, moment? trouble on the in turn one, and a car goes into the turf. And another car, looked like Teddy Hodgson's number 55, is stranded in the corner. Teddy Hodgson. Oh, we see him Bottom being of nudged. The top 10, and he got, looks like, pinched off there a bit. Number 55 car yep, is a lot of work down. done during the week, and he was very optimistic. He's upset with somebody. And, uh, well, all you sign language fans probably know what he has had on his mind. He is not happy. And Narducci is trying to track oh. down. Whoop, a little problem in turn four. One, two, three, four cars involved. Car number Pulio. seven. Julio's car. Todd leader. Owen, the point leader, is involved. But Owen is able to pull away under his own power. Noah Literally. Corner in the 31 is involved. And look at the back end of Daniel Wessons. Boy, that car is torn up so badly you can't even read the numbers. Yeah, yeah. Ben, we got Daniel Wesson, man. Tough break, the car, lots of damage there in the uh, rear right side. What happened, Daniel? Uh, yeah, I just went down in the turn and uh, the 31 obviously doesn't know how to race the modified yet. Uh, obviously, he's still on the learning curve, so uh, we'll give him a break this time, but um, if it happens again, it's gonna be ugly. All right, tough break for the 92 guys bad as they come off turn four. Here comes the checker. Derek Debus is there. Matthews goes spinning. It is Tyler Berry to finish in second. Josh Carey to finish in third. George Bissett for fourth. Alexander for fifth. Chapman, along with the one of Charlan, as Matthews sets like a setting duck. 56, taking down the race win. His third of the season, his eighth of his career for the 18-year-old from Oakdale, Connecticut. And as we said before, Burt Roulette, every week he's been getting stronger and stronger. Now he's being challenged by Myers. We've got a caution. And down in one, Dalton McCarthy's car, car number four. That car, every restart tonight, it has just been having a tough time, whatever the situation is. Uh, Dalton out of the car. Yep, comes and the motioning to, oh, we got- uh, Hand signals, that's what those are A hand about. signal <laughs> to, it looks like Orsini in car number 56. He's down underneath Lavoy. Lavoy's like the meat in the sandwich there, and pitch to the outside wall is Clement. We've got a spin, car number 83. It is RJ Serdell, and the other car that was involved, I believe is the other Clement machine. Yes, it is, the 95. And I think the 78 of Hopkins also got a piece of that. Yep. Mike, can you tell us what happened going down the front straightaway? Well, you'd have to ask the 59. These guys are racing like it's the last lap of the Daytona 500 for a million bucks. It's lap one of the limited lay model feature. The 59 gets dead sideways and then comes back across the racetrack and then nobody's paying attention and we pay the price. It sucks. Well, I see the Chapman having problems as he Struggles to the bottom of the track. Trouble turn three. Oh. Car hits a wall hard. Barkowski in the middle. Brian Sullivan, the point leader. He is there along with George Bissett. And Tyler Berry was a car that backed into the wall very viciously. Gene Sullivan is able to drive away, but here's the heartbreaker. Josh Perry was uh, able to drive away. Is there is no crew members on pit road in this division. Now he was the point leader up by 10 going into this event, and we don't have a lap up on the board. He's been showing great improvement. Oh, trouble now. We've got them all jammed up. We've got one around in the middle of the pack, and that has taken 16. Nicholas Hovey is involved in the jingle. Travis Hydar involved, yep. car number 11. You seldom see him involved in any of these jingles. The number 94 is the Daniel Chuck machine that started fourth on the grid. Oh yeah, I got Travis Hyder here, man. Travis, the 11 car, pretty heavy damage there on the right-hand side. Um, man, what'd you see out there? I uh, I don't even know what to say. We can't even make it three laps without these guys wrecking. Um, I, I can see where they could, outsiders consider this a learning division because most of these guys are still learning how to use a steering wheel, obviously. Dowling, up on the wheel. Oh, trouble, oh, goes trouble. Away. They get together at the point and it's going to be Hines going around to the infield. Others become collected further back. Jonathan Puglio, Teddy Hodgson is climbing out. And he is and upset. he is hot. Tyler Hines, who uh, had such a good run. And Stephen Kopsik is down on pit road. 
Topsick's right front wheel is folded up. Hines is heading toward, I believe, that pit. And now let's go down to Pit Road and see if our Pit Road reporters has more. Yeah, Steve Copsett brings in the Newtown Pools number 21. Looks like front end damage on that car. He could be done for the night. And looks like we're going to have uh, the 21 car. Looks like the crew's trying to work on it. A uh, little bit of confrontation down here on Pit Road. Well, looks like cooler heads will prevail before Tyler gets there. But uh, that's about as upset as I have ever seen Tyler. All right, well, I got Teddy Hodgson here in the 55, man. Up and down night. Started out bad. Looked good, though, the mid-race. Yeah, the car is really good once we got past the lap traffic there. I don't know, a bunch of Stevie Wonders are <laughs> driving here. So, I don't know. I'm just very disappointed. We had a very fast car, and I, I don't know. It's our luck this year, man. I don't Leader is Chris Meyer. He's been there and done that, but he gets the halfway signal, halfway down, and halfway to and go. And trouble in turn three. One car, two cars get around in turn number three, and it looks like Perhaps. the 69 of Cody being one of those two cars. Yes, and the other car might be 37 of Masha, maybe? Yes. And I think that's be. the case. It is. A lot of right front damage on that car as he heads to the pit lane. So he heads down to pit lane. Then Dooney is the other car, the number 11. Caution is out with 14 laps to go. That's the 38 car for Viens that got turned into turn number one. Up to the top six in the third row. Fourth row, good run for Andrew Moeller and Keith Rocco. And the fifth row is Corey DiMatteo and Teddy Hodgson. So Viens is not happy with the situation as it occurred. As uh, back to uh, talk to Nooney for a second time as Jeff Nooney climbs out. And off the corner they come, and new race leader at the stripe, burying the outside wall off turn four while running in fourth. Everybody will clear him to the outside, but a tough hit for Tyler Berry, who was running among the race leaders, got the outside wall off of turn number four and spun to the infield for us. And now Barry is out of the car rather quickly. And he is looking and making. Might have been Brian Sullivan. Yes, it might have been the Brian Sullivan car that he is obviously not very happy with. Michael Hopkins is up to the runner-up spot. Meanwhile, here comes the number 12 car. Pat Node and Devin Jensen coming together in turn number three. A nice save for Pat Node in car number 22. Hellberg, black flag in hand, and there it is to, uh, it looks like Devin Jensen. They're going out so early after finishing second last night. Uh, what took you out? Uh, just the idiot in the 22. He drives like an idiot every week. It's just unfortunate. And Christopher, side by side, like two symbols in an orchestra, off the turn. Oh, trouble now. JP, Jonathan Puglio. That was Matt Swanson's car, who went, or the 11 car that went airborne. So it got messy. And that is and Corey, Corey DiMatteo is in the 11 car, and he went for a ride. We've seen that a couple of times tonight. JP, can you tell us what happened? You were at the epicenter of that accident coming off turn four. Yeah, it's just, uh, I had a pretty good run going. I got to thank all my guys. You know, uh, it's went to three, the 33, just. I don't know what his deal is. He thinks he's racing on dirt, I guess. So he just uh, spun out by himself. And uh, we were just a victim of his mistake. So what are you going to do? Way to end the year, but we'll be back next year. 